Yeah, after that moment, I said, I finally have something in common with Ding Liren. We're both the biggest choke artists ever to play chess. So this is where I come back to my thing that I said, oh, I, I have something in common with Bobby Fischer. We both hate opening theory. We both ha hate end games because they make the game so preconceived and it becomes more engine based and less improvisational and actually innate skills. It's more like how much knowledge do you just possess? Like the little thought experiment. Somebody could be playing a game of chess for the first time ever. They know nothing about it and their life is on the line, like in a story or something, not in real life. But like, if they lose the game, they die. If they win, they survive. And the other person is playing chess also for the first time, but they're doing it just w with nothing at stake. If they win, nothing happens. If they lose, nothing happens. And what you would see with chess more than most games is their level of play would still be pretty similar, assuming that they still have time and stuff, so they can calculate as much as they want. But because they don't know the things you need to know, there's only so much you can do just with innate improvisational <clears throat> sort of style of play. That's almost what I was trying to test. Like how far can I get without actually studying anything or just playing the game? 